happy video day guys. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing another first impression on a brand new makeup release and this one is from ColourPop. So this is part of the ColourPop colorful little palettes collection. They have a bunch of different ones. They have purple, they have green, and what I picked up this time is the orange. So this is the Orange You Glad, that's it orange you glad palette and i was super excited to get this one because i don't have many orange orange themed palettes inside of my collection and i said you know what this is a cool one color pop usually doesn't fail me when it comes to shadows and i definitely wanted to try this one out for you guys so i'm going to be doing a first impression with you guys we're going to be creating this eye look together i'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts on this palette and we're going to get into all that so if you guys are interested we're going to be getting into that right now but before we get into video like always quick introduction i'm christina brooke this is the glam ranch what we do is talk about makeup from my little ranch so if you guys want to be part of the glam ranch family Family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I also have a huge back to school giveaway going on right now. If you guys want to enter in that, link will be in the description box. Okay, so now let's get right into this palette. So funny thing, I actually ordered one of their lippy tints also, but for some reason, I don't know why they didn't put it in my box. This is the only product that I got, but I did get a packing slip like if they did receive the lippy tint. So I have to call ColourPop and see what happened there. I was hoping to show you guys what the lippy tints look like too, but I don't know, just didn't end up going inside of the box. But at least I got the palette and I can show you guys everything about this one. So ColourPop comes out with these nine pan palettes and they come like different variations. There's the green, there's the purple, there's the orange. They have so many of them already. So it's a really good way to have like a bunch of variations of a certain color tone. And I actually really like the ColourPop ones. I do have their purple one and it's so good. It's so beautiful and I love it so much. When I saw the orange one, I got really excited because I don't really have a orange like I don't really have too much orange in my collection so I was like this is a perfect way to add orange so inside of this palette you are getting nine different shades of the nine six of them are matte two of them are a shimmer and one of them is like a pressed glitter so honestly guys when I saw the pressed glitter one that's what sold me on this whole palette like I zoned into that color and I was like you are so pretty I need you so I basically bought this palette for that color so if that color is a letdown it would be like horrible but I did buy this palette for that color these palettes are $12 so I actually really love the packaging of these products when you do get it it comes in this outer carton that says orange you glad and once you pull it out you do get this plastic container it's actually more heavy-duty than other color pop um, palettes lately they've been coming out with more in this plastic design which I actually like because it's easier to travel comes with a nice size mirror this is very functional you can totally use this mirror to put on your makeup then inside you get all the beautiful colors and what I love about these palettes is they're actually putting the color names on the front which is great because ColourPop used to put them all on the back and the colors never matched up to what you were using so I love that they're putting them on the front and I love the whole layout of this palette. I was super excited when I opened this up and I saw the colors. It got me so happy because it's just very different. I love peach. If you guys don't know, peach is like one of my favorite colors when it comes to lipsticks, it comes to eyeshadows. I love peach. Ooh, they should do like a real peachy, peachy palette. That would be super cute. This was like the closest that we can get to peach so far. And I really thought it would be really fun to try an orange full orange palette. So I will tell you guys, it did not disappoint. I'm gonna tell you guys straight off the bat, it really didn't disappoint. To create this look, I did use a few different colors and I really wanted to try to use as many as I could to kind of get an idea of how this palette was working. I will tell you guys, there is some colors in here that I think that ColourPop could have done without, or they could have switched it for a different color, but we'll get to that. So the first thing that I did was jump into this color right here called Zested. Now Zested is almost the color of my skin tone. If you guys can see, it's very similar. So this color to me is just to lay down the eyeshadow base that I put on, which is the primer. Just kind of lay it down, put it all over the eye. I'm fine with a color like this. It doesn't really bother me when there is one like this. Is this a waste color for me? Maybe, I mean, maybe if it had a different tone, it would be a little bit better, but I do always like for there to be a color like this one. So I wanted to add a little bit of more of a vibrancy to the top part of the lid. So what I did was I used this color, Mimosa Mami. 
Mimosa Mami. So I used the color Mimosa Mami and I kind of put that into the crease and worked it up. Now I was happy that this color was in here because this one has a little bit more of like a hot fuchsia-y orange color, which is a really cool color. This is probably going to look really cool even on the lid. This is a fun color to have in a palette, so I do really like this color. I was working it up. Because of the color, I did have to go into it a few times to kind of blend it out. But I think it did a really good job. I think it worked really fine and I did get a lot of payoff for the color. Then what I did is I used Ya Peel Me. So it's this color right here. Now, this is the color that I have a little bit of a complaint with. Now, I don't think that this color works bad. I actually like this color, but it's the darkest color inside of this palette. And when you put it on the lid, it is not super dark. So that's the only complaint that I kind of have, but I'll tell you guys more about that when I talk about the color tones. This color worked really good. I did put it in the inner half of the eye and the outer half, blended it together. I think it blended really fine. It has a more orangey under tone but the base color is not super dark so as I blended it you can kind of see like all the colors were starting to look a little bit similar it wasn't like I could see too much difference between the hues but almost too seamlessly that the colors looked almost the same for what I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit darker because I felt like a darker hue would really really pop but it did come out to being a little bit lighter than expected on the lid so we just have to work with that then what I did was jumped into this color. This is the color I have been waiting for. It's the color Clementine. I love this color, guys. Now, this is a chunky glitter. It's chunky. If you pick it up, this is not a finely milled glitter. There is some glitter chunks in this, so I can see some people be like, ooh, it's too chunky. I like it because it's different. So I did love putting this on the center. I feel like it gives you like a real glitter effect. It reminds me more of like the Huda Beauty formula of the glitters. Now the only difference is I feel like Huda Beauties are a little bit more finely milled. This one's a little bit chunkier, but it gives you like that same kind of effect, which I really like. And we do know that these kind of palettes are probably highly inspired by the Huda Beauty little minis that she came out with originally. And I love this color. I think it's beautiful. I I think it worked fantastic. I like it. I think it's super cool. Like honestly, I would buy the whole palette just for this color. Then after I decided, okay, so I kind of finished off the eye, blended everything together, it needed to work on the lower lash line. I wanted to grab this color Sunkissed because I wanted to add a little bit more vibrancy to the lower lash line. Use Sunkissed right underneath the lower lash line, blended it out, tried to blow it down a little bit, and then went back into the appeal me and kind of like blended that on the lower lash line to kind of tie everything together. I put on mascara, finished off the face, and guys, I really love the look. I used a lot of the colors in here, and I love the way the final look came out. Now, so we had some MVPs in here for this look that I think really helped tie it together. I think Sunkissed, Clementine, and Mimosa Mami were really big supporters to make this look look like it ended up looking. So I do have a complaint, which is I wish this color right here, Ya Peel Me, I wish Ya Peel Me had a darker brown undertone to it when it was put on the eye. I don't even care if this color would have still been in here, but I wish they would have replaced maybe one of the other colors, not sure which one, maybe Creamsicle, with a color that was a little bit darker brown undertoned, but still orange, so that I can really do a really dark looking eye and blend the rest of these colors together. That's the only thing that I wish. I mean, when you're using these type of palettes, you have to think they're giving you all oranges. Maybe there's gonna be some times that you're not gonna just be able to use this palette. I would like to use this palette in conjunction with a palette that has browns in it or darker browns and stuff like that. I think it would look beautiful. Even a palette that has yellows and reds would look really great with this palette. But overall, guys, I think this palette is so worth the $12. I think it is absolutely stunning. Everything about it that I used, I really, really loved. I'm dying to use some of these other colors. I didn't get to use Tangerine, but this color looks pretty insane as well, if you guys can see that color. Oh my gosh, look at that color. So there is a lot of colors in here that I didn't even get to use, and oh, I really think are going to be pretty phenomenal. So... This palette is so worth the 12 bucks, guys. I love these ColourPop mini palettes with nine shades of one color. I just think they do such a good job with the formula in them. I love that it is just an orange palette and you get a lot of hues of orange. I think it's really, really cool. 
I love it. There's always going to be a tad bit of a complaint when you're working with only one color. Sometimes you're gonna want something a little darker or not, but you know, you have to just accept the fact that this is an orange palette and that's what you're gonna get, orange. So I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the eye look. I think that you can do some wearable looks with this and I am really happy with it. If you guys are looking at this palette, Totally recommend it. I think it's beautiful. Another thing I can say for ColourPop shadows is I think that they have a really nice wear time as well. So anyways, that is my first impression on this palette. I think the look came out great. I'm so excited to continue to use this. And of course, there will be a review follow-up once I've used it for a longer period of time. And I'll let you guys know for sure what I'm thinking. But right now, I think I really, really love this thing. So, But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.